What up, though? What's up with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? All right, you guys. So we're going to get into this reading and see what it is that you need to know. If you're interested in a personal Scorpio, I am still running a special on my readings, and that information will be in the description box below, okay? You guys have noticed my surroundings, my background is different because I have recently moved, okay? And, and if you didn't catch that first reading I did earlier, okay, I have moved. I have relocated to a whole new city. I'm in my own home, no neighbors. I have peace and quiet. So your girl can get up and work without distractions and all this shit that was keeping me from working like I was in the past, okay? So we're going to first start off getting into some twin flame, or not twin flame. We're going to start off doing angel messages, okay? So we're going to see what messages spirit has for you. If anything resonates for you guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment, okay? Let your girl blue flame know what's going on. Once again, if you are interested in a personal, I am running a special. That information will be in the description box below here, okay? All right. So we're going to take all these. All right, so we got four angel numbers, okay? So we got the number 28. All right, your angels are reminding you that as long as you remain grateful for what you have, you will continue to live abundantly, okay? Now, this doesn't mean for you to complain about what you don't have. This means you take time to think about the things that you've been blessed with, the things that you have now, and you like, Holy Spirit, thank you for blessing me with this and blessing me with that. I wake up every morning and look around and be like, thank you for blessing me with this beautiful home. So right now, your spirit and your angel guys want you to know, you know, don't worry about nothing. As long as you continue to be grateful, be thankful, practice gratitude, you will continuously live this abundant life. You need to release any fear or anything that hinders you or causes you any imbalance in your divine matters here, okay? So anything, anyone that could be hindering you, that could be getting you off track from what you're supposed to be doing and the work that you're supposed to be doing from the divine, it's time to release that, okay? We have remove any negative energy. Live your life full of love and kindness. This will help you gain your rewards. So if some of you have been trying to figure out, well, how am I going to gain my rewards? How am I going to get my blessings? that you must remove negative energy. And sometimes removing negative energy also means removing negative people. People who always drain your energy, bring you down. You can't never do and see what you need to do because of these other people and other energies, okay? Those are called distractions. And these people are hindering you, okay? We also have the number 21. You are being encouraged to become more independent, okay? So this means doesn't be don't be in a codependent energy don't depend on other people's it's okay to get advice and you know see what someone else may think but you need to be able to make decisions for yourself without the influence of other people okay all right you guys so let's get into this tea leaf y'all didn't realize i got so many freaking dicks like before i had my tables and stuff in my apartment i was like when i moved here i didn't want to just have my cars out everywhere you know i just kind of want them to be sacred and i get them out and have my own little space so yeah shit is crazy so let's get into it so now i got all my cars i'm glad i kept my boxes because i got all my cars and my boxes and now i have they all have their little cabinet space for them now okay all right, y'all, so let's get into it. Let's see what it is. Okay, so this is going to be your horoscope. Now, I'm planning on getting my internet jumping on the, what's the day? The 20th, the 22nd. So we're going to say the 22nd through the 25th. Hold on. Is that what we're going to say?
We're going to say May the 22nd to the 24th. Yeah. All right. So this is going to be your horoscope. May, Wednesday, May the 22nd through the 24th. Holy Spirit. Okay. What is it that Scorpio needs to know for May the 22nd through the 24th? Messages for Scorpio. All right. So we got key, baby. Successful outcomes to your problems. So any problems, anything that was holding you back, you're going, you got the key now, okay? The ball is in your court, and you will have a successful outcome to any problems, any situations that you could be having right now, okay? May the 22nd through the 24th. What does Scorpio need to know? All right, we got broken ring. We got part of ways in either romance or business, okay? So for some of you, maybe this could be a romantic relationship or something you have going on. You and someone could be parting ways, or this could be with some type of business venture that you have going on with someone, okay? All right, May the 22nd through the 24th. What does Scorpio need to know? All right, look at this. We got new home, new attitude, Scorpio, okay? Some of you guys, maybe you could be moving. You recently moved, or maybe this is my energy, y'all, but yes, I have a, I'm in a new home, and I definitely got a new attitude, okay? We have the victory, victory in some endeavor. So something that you will be doing, Scorpio, you will be victorious. So you may be feeling the urge to start a project or, you know, complete something that you've been working on. And you will be victorious. So don't hesitate to do what you've been guided to do. And we got Cheerfield, baby. For some of you guys, someone new will be entering your life. So if you have a chair empty in your life or you're currently single right now, male or female, Someone could be coming in to fill that chair, okay? Yeah, this card always seems to come out when I pull this dick for Scorpio. I guess all of you guys, you know, along the way, y'all are needing to love her, okay? I'm excited to hear about what's been going on with you. Since I've been gone these past couple of weeks, it feels like forever, Scorpio. And I was like, it's been, I guess it's been about three weeks, yeah. It's been about three weeks since, since I've been here. All right, Holy Spirit, tell us more. What does Scorpio need to know? May the 22nd through the 24th. I love you, Scorpio. What do they need to know here? Okay, we got Quill. Get back to the basis. So some of you, maybe you had to take a little break. You had to go into harmony mode, okay? And now Spirit is saying it's time to get back to the basis. You Time to get back in the routine. Time to get shit jumping. Time to get shit popping again, okay? All right, we got January. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius here. Or something can happen in the month of January. All right, make, look, messages for Scorpio. May the 22nd through the 24th. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios, what do you need to know? <sighs> Life is good, baby. What does Scorpio need to know, Holy Spirit? May the 22nd through the 24th. Damn it. Hold on. All right, you guys. For some of you, we have an arrogant, boastful person that you should not corrupt here, okay? So we got this rooster energy. You can be dealing with someone who's very arrogant. You know, you can't tell them nothing. They ain't willing to listen to anything. This could be the cause for a broken relationship. Or a partnership here, okay? Y'all take it how it resonates. This could be a boss. This could be a co-worker. This could be a family member, friend, relationship. You know, y'all let me know here. All right, tell us more, Holy Spirit. Did I already pull from these? I don't know. Messages for Scorpio. May the 22nd through the 24th. What does Scorpio need to know for May the 22nd through the 24th? And we're going to get a little bit of energy around this too okay so we have use your intuition to make beneficial changes so there could be some things some you know some changes that need to be made here you could be encouraged to be doing lots of things some of you guys are being encouraged to remove negative energy release fear anything or anyone that could be hindering you and now you have to use your intuition here to make some type of changes so you could be seeing five 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 as well messages for scorpio may the 22nd through the 24th, okay. So let's get into a little bit of energy here. And then we might pull on this rooster and see who this is and this chair field, okay? We're just going to see. All right, Holy Spirit. 
Scorpio horoscope, May the 22nd through the 24th. What do my beautiful and my handful Scorpios, what do they need to know, Holy Spirit? All right, May 22nd through the 24th for Scorpio. What do they need to know? All right, Scorpio, so there is someone who loves your energy. Now, this person, they love the energy, they love the vibe, they just love the spirit that you're always in, okay? But this could be someone that you're currently not talking to because we have stalemate here. So even though you and this person is not talking, you know, they could be watching you guys. You know, they could be following you maybe on your page or if you post or whatever you do, you know, but you ain't communicating with this person. Mm, somebody love the way you smell. Okay, some of you, this could be a co-worker or somebody, you know, just walk around and be like, damn, Scorpio, that's you. You smell good. Men, women, you know. Look at this. Somebody finds you simply irresistible, though. So someone that you're not talking to, Scorpio, they love the energy. So they're definitely watching you, okay? They're watching you do something. And they find you simply irresistible. Like, this person cannot resist you. No matter what this person tries to do, they cannot resist you, Scorpio. Okay, now. Tell us more then, Holy Spirit. Now, for some of you, this broken ring, like I said, this, this doesn't always have to be your energy. This could be someone that's in your energy as well. Okay, I'm learning this shit too. All right, so we got someone I wanted to be held accountable for their actions. Okay, they don't want to admit when they're wrong and it's this rooster okay i'm gonna put this to the side because we definitely gonna pull on that let's get a couple of more messages for my scorpios all right somebody's priorities are fucked up okay so this is someone who prioritizes other things that's not important over things that are important okay all right we got i'm trying so someone during this time who finds you simple and resistful, okay, they want to let you know, Scorpio, I'm trying. I'm trying my best to, to get this shit together. I'm trying to do something here, okay? So let's look at this rooster because we have this arrogant, boastful, boastful person that you guys should not be crossing. So let's see who this person is. All right, messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio. This is your horoscope for May the 22nd through the 24th here. Tell us more about this rooster, Holy Spirit. Who is this arrogant, boastful person that Scorpio should not cross? Tell us about this rooster, Holy Spirit. Who is this arrogant, boastful person? Boastful person. Oh, shit. Okay. So these are all major arcanas, okay? So this is something who, this is something that's happening behind the scenes okay so someone here is not happy with their life they don't have any joy they don't have any peace there's not any good energy so this is someone who's going through the opposite of what you're doing okay we got the sun some of you could be dealing with a leo here so let's look at this sun in reverse here Okay, someone could be, ooh, for some of you guys, you could be overwhelmed by success here. Because remember, you're going to be victorious in some endeavor. So this sign could be a good thing, though, okay? So some of you, you're going to be overwhelmed with some type of success. Okay, some of you could be losing energy, but some type of joy, some type of happiness, someone here is not experiencing, okay? We got the moon, maybe because something has been revealed, something or someone has been exposed, okay? This could be someone who's refusing to face reality. They could be learning some type of truth. This could be you as well. Their emotions could be extreme, so they go from levels of being cool to mad or angry. Destructive mood swings. All right, and we got the death, and this is someone who's resisting change. Like, they need to change their ways, okay? So some of you guys, you shouldn't cross this person. Because, like I said, they can go from one minute of being, you know, cool, calm, and collected, and then you know they ask the goddamn fool. Like, you don't ever know what to expect from this person, okay? And they don't want to be held accountable for their actions. This could be another Scorpio, a Leo. Who else, who else do we have? And we also had Cancer here. It doesn't have to be any of these signs. It's just be the energy that they're in, okay? So this is something that's like, like I said, it's happening behind the scenes. So this is something that hasn't quite taken place. For some of you guys, you're going to experience it May the 22nd through the 24th, okay? Let's pull one more. 
what's going to happen here, Holy Spirit? Tell us more about this, okay? What's what's going to be? Why is this person not going to be held accountable? Like, what's going to happen between them and Scorpio? Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us more about this person who doesn't want to be held accountable. Three of Pentacles, and they're not willing to collaborate or see things your way. Yeah, like I said, this is it for some of you. This could, ooh, this could be a one-sided relationship, partnership. This could have to do, like I said, for some of you with the business relationship. I can't make this up. Broken ring. This could be the ending of a business or relationship because it's like you're not able to, you're not able to compromise. It's someone who doesn't want to compromise with you. They only want things to be their way, and they only see things their way here. Okay. So let's roll. I didn't get the dice last time. I gotta see. I told you shit everywhere, Scorpio. I'm gonna get my dice. All right, so let's roll. I didn't even roll, y'all, last time. I'm telling you, I'm just not giving back to the bases. I'm telling you. All right, so let's see who this is about. Okay, so you can be then. We got Heavy Cancer, Aquarius, Taurus. Who is this reading about for my Scorpio? You could be dealing with Heavy Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we also have Heavy Gemini, Taurus, and Aquarius. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.